Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your scopes um, so that uh, you guys all know and you guys can use this video to study and whatnot. So these, this video is for aligning the Zeiss Primo Star, the one with this sliding condenser adjustment right here. And also on this scope I have the one with the disc. So I'll show you both. Um, they're just subtly different. So when you pull out the scope, the stage is all the way down and the lowest objective in, is in place. What you do at this point is you take your X wax slide or whatever you have, you put it in place, and you turn it to the 10x objective. We don't actually really work with the 4x objective at all. I'm going to center my X. I'm going to turn on my scope so that light is coming through. There's the light. And now I'm going to raise my stage all the way up. And also I'm going to raise this condenser knob up near the top almost near the top see it pushes on the slide so you don't actually want to raise it too high it'll push it on the slide and just pop out the slide so raise it near the top everything's kind of near the top now I'm gonna look through my scope and focus on the red X in there I've got it in focus it looks like a wax pencil of red so once that's in focus I'm gonna close the lamp diaphragm down here all the way. I'm going to look at my uh, through my oculars again and I see a blurry circle. That blurry circle should actually be a shape. It should be an octagon almost and I'm going to get it to be that octagon. I'm going to focus that blurry circle right now via this condenser adjustment knob. And it's just going to take a little bit. It shouldn't take a lot. And bam. Now this what was once a blurry circle now has defined edges to it. Once I've got that in focus, I'm going to use these two silver knobs right here to center that image in the middle of my field of view. Okay, I've got it centered right now, just about. And now I'm going to open it up, make that image bigger using this uh, lamp diaphragm. And it looks pretty good. I think I need to focus it just a little bit more. Okay, it's sharper now. I've got corners. I've got sharp edges to that. It actually looks like a decagon. It's got like 12 sides. Um, it's still fairly centered. I did a good job centering it, but I can kind of rework it to just make it a little bit more perfect. Open it a little bit more. And now each edge, each corner of this shape is now touching my outside field of view um, and it looks good and now I'm just going to open it just past my field of view so my whole field of view is illuminated now I'm aligned at the 10x and I should be pretty much aligned everywhere else since my red X is still sharply in focus and these and these microscopes are par focal. If I'm in focus at the 10x, I should be able to just swing the 40x in place and the 40x won't hit my slide. And I'm gonna look and oh, it's gonna just take a small minor adjustment and now, yep, I'm in focus. Um, real quick, this little tab knob right down here, this, uh, when I was using the 10x, it was all the way uh, to the right underneath the 10. Now that I'm on the 40, I want to move it just so that it's under the 40. It'll allow more light to go through. Um, I'm looking through, and yes, it does. It looks good. Um, and again, if I was on the 100, I'd want it to be on the 100. And if I was using phase contrast, I'd want to move it all the way to the phase. Um, and again, this condenser is pulled all the way out to the right, and it's on uh, bright field. If I was on... Um, if I was doing phase contrast, I'd either want to be on 1 for the 10x, 2 for the 40x, or 3 for the 100x lens. I'm going to pull this all the way out. There's only a minor difference for this scope right here is you actually do everything the same. The only thing is, instead of that sliding thing, you have this disc. So B for bright field, when you're looking at stained dead samples, 10 for pH 1 when you're on phase contrast 10x, 40 for phase contrast at the 40x, and 100 for phase contrast at the 100x lens. 
Um, one thing you don't have to worry about with this particular model of the scope is that little tab thing I showed you at over here. This little tab thing does not exist on these scopes, so you don't have to worry about that adjustment. So real quick, now that I'm all adjusted, let me just show you real quick. Um, I, show, I told you uh, on the, for the exam I want to see that diamond, that, sorry, that decagon at the 10x touching the outside, the corners touching the outside field of view. So I still got that because I aligned it earlier. I'm going to go to 40x, everything's in alignment. I'm going to move my objective out of place, pull out my slide. And I told you the other thing I wanted to see for this test is uh, phase contrast. So I've got my, uh, my um, wet mount that I prepared earlier. I'm going to move this back into place. I'm going to move this tab all the way to pH, like I said earlier. And I'm going to move, since I'm on the 40x, I'm going to go to pH 2. Now I'm going to look through my scope and find focus. And sure enough, that's all it took, half a turn on the fine fo focus adjustment knob, and I'm already seeing the bacteria swim around. And that's all there is to it. All right, good luck.